Hi guys, welcome back to Allotment Diggers. Well, I've got a few thing, clips to show you today. Uh, we've been busy. It's been raining. Um, we, we managed to get the jobs what we wanted to do outside done. And we've got a few jobs to do inside this greenhouse today. A few, few um, seed sowings. But um, where we're going to start is with the, the rest of the sweet corn. We, now, we took a load of sweet corn out. As you saw, it was pretty good stuff. Um, however, we left the, the not so good stuff in, hoping it, that it'd pick up. However, it's been hammered by the wind, the rain and the squiddles and I've decided we're going to lift it up and we're going to clear the bed. We're going to give the, the corn to the to the, what's the chickens and uh, have done with it and get that bed all clear because we've got a plan. We're going to be putting something in that bed very shortly. So let me take you down there now and show you what we've been doing with that particular bed. We will be leaving the strawberries in at the other end but where the corn was it's all going so check this out this is the squirrels been at it and uh, that's what's happened to me corn the squirrels have had a right good go at it unfortunately so what I'm doing I'm taking the corn up the rest of the corn it's not really good for anything might be able to give it the, the, the chickens but that's about it they won't be giving the chickens that bit, but the rest of it, yeah, will well, be. Let's get, let's get started. Got the bag here. Oops, kicking everything over. Could have left them, but uh, you probably say, "Why are you leaving these in?" Well, we're going to put them in the compost bin. And then we'll we'll um, put it back in the ground that way. Yeah. Uh, the corn's not too bad. I don't know if you can see that chicken food anyway. So what we'll do? We'll leave. We'll take the tops off. Rid of these now, where well, we can. Got any corn on it? They've, they've, they've actually pinched the, the corn off that one. Just one more to get. That's a bit of a mutant. Three, three usks, three corn, um, small corn there on the the same. Same stem. Oh well. So that's the corn removed. <clears throat> We're going to get the oil on there, clean it all up, get the little uh, weeds out. Uh, we give this corn just down here to the chickens. And uh, we'll add some um, some compost and what have you to this bed. Get it all dug in, and then um, we'll put the either the onions or the garlic in. So anyway, let me crack on. I'm gonna get me over me uh, me rake. It's gonna be a free for all. Come on, girls. There you are. There you go. There you go. You can run away with them now, can't you? Hey? Well, leave them to eat the corn, and while they're eating the corn, we'll crack them. 
Well, time to give it a bit of a no. And get, get this sped a little bit tidier. Lovely and soft. Just a few small weeds in it, which needs picking out, which I'm doing now. some fertiliser on this shortly and it'll be good to go that didn't take long but uh, yeah we'll level it out with the the rake um, all these uh, tomatoes uh, strawberries here these are big being moved shortly but uh, yeah the corn's been removed now from this bed thank god so there you go that's that's the corn all gone and um, well we give the chickens the corn and they were very happy <laughs> anyway that left me with the 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 rest there's a few um, pumpkins well I don't know what they're not like um, they're like a jack-o-lantern but they're a miniature jack-o-lantern I can't remember what the hell they were and there was a few other gourds there. However, um, there was a lot of them have disappeared. There was only, I think we pulled four out in total. Um, there were, um, there were about 12, 15 of them. So people have been coming down and taking them, unfortunately. Uh, so I've took the ones out, um, what was left, and I'll be giving them to a, to a lass on here um, when I see her. And um, she'll be giving them to the, the well. She, she's got she's got a soup kitchen, and she's she's top of um, Salford precinct most nights, um, doing handing out food to the homeless. And uh, guess what they're going to be having? Pumpkin soup. <laughs> I give her a last load, and I'm going to give her the what's remaining of these as well. So uh, what we're going to do down now is go down there, clear them all out clear the bed up and I'm going to show you all that so uh, check this out and we'll the next do right job that. is to clear this bed here we've got a few gourds left in it and uh, unfortunately there was more in it but uh, with it getting so clo getting closer to bonfire night they, they, they tend to disappear very quickly now I'm not mad because I've got the ones that I need for my own grandkids however there is a few gourds left in here pumpkins and I think there's a matter there as well, so I'm going to get in there in a moment and I'm going to start cutting them out and then we're going to clear all this bed. So uh, first things first, let's go for that. I can see one just here, one that's all nice and ripe. Have a look at this one. When you're taking these gourds out, what you want to do I think I've mentioned this before. Bloody slug there. Lucky it's not uh, caused any damage, bit of dirt. But yeah, these are the a miniature, miniature um, like jack-o'-lanterns. I forget what uh, what they are, but it's, see how it's all rotting away there? Well, it'll only rot down to about this far. By the time we come to use it, you know, you cut it off in, you're good to go. But yeah, that's the first one. 
So I'll put that one down, I can see another one here. Now that's a different variety. I'm not too sure what it's called, but again, put them here, here. This will rot down, and um, what you don't want to do is cut it too short because it'll rot down and it'll start to infect the inside of the the pumpkin. And um, get, get the camera, get the thing in bloody shot, and you, you would see. So there's yet another one. And I think I can see another one of these just over there. Let me have a look. Yeah. Oh, just out of shot. So, yeah, we've got a couple of these. I've got no idea what they taste like. Swing the camera around so you can see them. We did have four or five of them. That's the only one what I've got. Uh, we did have three, four of them. We've got two. So there's probably another one or two in there. I can see. Um, swing the camera around. You can see in the centre. I can see some sort of um, marrow. Well, uh, one of them as well. So, anyway, we're going to clear this up now. So, uh, be right back. We'll sit these in the in the greenhouse um, until I can find someone who will take them. In fact, I've got an idea who will have these. So let's uh, shift this net off here, and we're we'll going to crack all on. these up now, and we're going to put them in that bag there on the wheelbarrow, and. Uh, this shouldn't take too long to do. I think we've got most of the weeds out. It's, it's had a good all in. Put these odd bits out here. Got the odd little weed what's uh, still there, but won't be there for much longer. Anyway, that's it, folks. That's yet another bed been tidied up. So, there you go, it's all cleared, everything's cleared out now. Um, all the all the pumpkins. The only thing is, we're going to be taking the, the runner beans down in the week, but I, I'm leaving that because I want, uh, I want them to dry out a bit so I can actually take the seeds for next year. Um, so that brings me into the greenhouses here. What we've been doing in the greenhouses, you may wonder. Well, um, we've been messing around um, 
with the garlic we've been splitting it all and we've been putting it into into tray stations um, we're going to grow them start them off in the the trays take them out and that and where we're going to put them is where the um where the corn used to be we'll be removing all the strawberries and them strawberries some of them strawberries will be going into a frame just outside here on the front part of the plot and then we're going to pile in the um the the garlic into that particular bed so let me take you down there and, uh, let, me, let me take you down there let me um, show you what we've been doing in the greenhouse with this garlic um, from start to finish we're gonna show you how we'll, how we'll break them up and what selection and what have you and then we'll get a few in the trays and um, we'll come back after that well guys you join me in the middle of um, doing my garlic I'm just selecting the best ones. We're breaking them out of the, um, separating them here, and as we separate them, we inspect them. Um, some of these we're never going to use; they won't be seeds. The smaller ones, they're just going to end up in uh, back home in the kitchen. And uh, the culinary culinary expertise of the missus will be doing something with them. I assure you. Um, they'll find themselves in the wok more and more than likely stir fries and uh, well that's what's going to happen to them anyway uh, the, the garlic what we're looking at is something well it's something like that what we won't be planting let's see if we can find a couple of smaller small ones uh, yeah now that one there and you see the difference that one there is a scrawny one so that's going to end up in the in the what guys this one here this one's going to end up in the pot uh, for planting thing is what people tend to do with these they, they get them and they put them in the fridge for a couple of weeks to, to freeze them and then they plant them and uh, what they're after is for these to split into segments okay that's just one gar clove and what happens when it gets cold and you've got them in the ground they start to grow they split and um, the the winter has a lot to do with it um, the freezing cold you might think it can damage them but no nope, it actually helps to, to split them so they turn up they, they turn out like this now these solar white which I'm growing uh, which which I'm going to be growing these are what we had we started from um, last early in the year so I've saved all the best ones and what I'm doing now I'm just sifting through them and making sure that they're, they're all viable you don't want to go stick your wasting your, your energy by putting um, damaged cloves into pots. So the trick is inspect them before you do it. Make sure they're all fine. Um, I, there's a few of them, like I said, I'm not going to be using. Um, they're the, obviously the smaller ones. But uh, it won't be long before they, they fly away. Then that's, that's definitely for the walk. And that one. That one there will just make it. Probably that one as well. So, all depends on how many, how many, um, how many you do. Now, I've been splitting these now for the last half hour or so and just checking them out, give them a squeeze, see how firm they are. We've got two more to go, so we might as well stay with it, eh? Watch me finish the last of them off. Oh, look at that, they are. This is why we, we check them. That looks absolutely audible, so we're not going to be using that. That's, that's, uh, that's not stored very well. See what I mean when I say it's damaged? That's the only one out of about 15 or 16 of them, what we've done, um, which is it's not done very well. There's a perfect one there. That's going to be a belter. And that one. I hope you've seen most of this. If not, sorry. <laughs> yeah, trust it to rain today, but it's, it's given me the incentive to do this. I was thinking of just about putting them into my plastic bag how I normally do them and um, get them started and 
getting rid of them. See that one there? That that's no good. So you, you know, and that one's no good. So anyway, they're they're the ones that we're getting rid of. We won't be using them. And that's what we're left with, guys. So we're going to get some compost into here now. What's the names here? We've uh, mixed a little bit of blood fish and bone in here as well, just to help them. Right, so what we've got to do now, just push these down into them. These are the ones what we're doing. Uh, can you see that? Actually, you can't really see very well. But you can imagine what we're doing. I can push these down and know that they're going to be okay. So yeah, we'll do a tray. Drop that one. Yeah, you can hear that wind there, can't you? The, the rain on the, the greenhouse roof. It's been like that, guys, for weeks. I've not been able to really do much outside. You know what? <sighs> this bloody carpal tunnel in my hands. I can't hardly hold the, the garlic properly. It can be a bit of a burden. It wasn't a particularly good year this year for garlic with all the rain that we've had. Um, hopefully next year will be a lot better. By the way, the this is clover that we've, we've got them in. Clover with um, blood fishing bowl. So they've got food feed in there. All we want to do is get them about six inches high and then we're going to plant them straight out into the beds. Let's just get them off to a... Well, that won't get off to an early start. We're planting it upside down. And there's a the thing as well. That is the, the bottom end, top end. I've seen... A, a mate of mine has done, uh, did some of these and I, I, I was looking at them and uh, luckily I realised what he'd done, he planted them all the wrong way. Uh, anyway, we corrected him and uh, he did well. In fact, he did better than I have done, so, you know, he wouldn't have done. <laughs> so we've, uh, we're coming up to, I think he's about 40 there now. And go, let's count them, no, 10, 20, 30, 40. Right, I have got a riddle somewhere. A riddle. There we go, and we're just gonna sprinkle it over the top. Do go like that. Right, I'm just gonna quickly get um oh I've got one here. Here we go, this is me me new watering can. These roses rolls rolls you can get from um Will Coles and what you do. Give a quick drink. I won't water these again. 
until I see them coming up. So there you go. That's the the, the garlic all planted with these. Uh, solar white. We will be doing the porcelain white um, very shortly. Um, I should get hold of some of it. Unfortunately, um, uh, the the mice quite like the solar white. Um, oh, sorry, the the, the is it solar? Yeah, the solar white. Um, not too keen on the porcelain white, but when I come to, when I when I check, so they vet all me um, my solar white. There's a few left, but I thought we would have messed about with them. Um, so I ditched him. We'll have to get some more, unfortunately. Um, but the, the last thing I want to show you is me doing my broad beans. Um, I've got some bunyards exhibition, and uh, I'm going to show you how I, I start them off. So uh, check this clip out. Okay, and we'll be right guys, back. I'm doing these uh, bunyard um, exhibition um, broad beans. Now, apparently, you get 40 in a pack. And. Uh, well, um, it says sowing um, any time now, really, as you can see. So that's what we're going to be um, doing, and we're going to do them in these toilet rolls. Now, there's no right way and wrong way of doing this. I'm just going to drop them in. Uh, I like to drop them in that way. Um, I don't know if you can see. Drop them in like that, and um, what will happen is the tap root should uh, work its way down. And um, just like I say, in each of these, I'm just going to drop one in. Um, it doesn't matter really, they, they find the right way up. And that's what we're going to do make sure there's one per station of bog roll or whatever you like to call it. As um, soon as they start to come up, what we're going to do, um, I'm going to plant them straight out. This is just me getting them. Oh, I put two in there, bloody hell. Let's get that one out. That's me just getting them off to an early start. Apparently there's 40 seeds in a pack, so let's see how many we got. There's 40 tubes of uh, toilet roll um, there, so... Well... Yep, that one's got one in it. So there's a... Uh, is one spare. Oh well, I'll put that into this pack here. But uh, now what we're going to do, uh, we're just going to quickly, bit of water on each of them. Might sound daft, as soon as they feel water, what they want to do. This is set off. So that's what we're doing. A little bit of water. And now we're going to cover them with this compost. Just so just gently pressing them down. So that's it. Uh, give them another little bit of a water on the top and they're good to go, these. Bunyard's Exhibition, that's what they are. So there you go, folks. That's it. That's all the beans done and dusted. Um, we got 40. However, uh, we um, we had two, two packets of them. And I could be mithered. Um, Doing another load of toilet rolls, so what I decided to do. You remember that um, that plastic container that I actually it's more styrofoam um, container in the greenhouse. Um, it had, uh, I think it had. What did we have growing in it? Oh, it was a cucumber. It was a market more we had growing in it. Well, we took that out. We've added some fertilizer and. Um, 
well, this is what we've done with the rest of them bra beans. Well, I've got some more of these Bunyard's Exhibition um, bra beans here, and I've decided I'm going to put them in here, and then we can we can transplant them out of here later on. And I'm just going to push and poke them down into the ground. There's no no crate, no order to them, uh, but. Um, I've done this before and it's worked really really well um, so that's what we're doing we just leave these here near the door and see what happens I'm not losing any money like I say I've uh, I think I paid 17p or something like that for these pack of seeds. What I do is I want to put one in between as well. It doesn't matter how close they are because we can actually split them up. You don't you see them in the shops like you get like trays of them. Um, Anyway, see what happens. Bit of an experiment, not a problem. Easy to separate. And you go right in the corner as well. Not faffing about. There you go. Just gently. Some compost over there and I'll water them in a bit. So as you see the bra beans are all in now. Um, I think they'll come up before the ones in the toilet rolls. However um, we won't be watering any of the ones we've watered them now. We won't water them till we start to see um, the heads poking out the ground. As soon as we do we'll water them. The the garlic will we want to get to about eight inches high they're probably as soon as they start to show it'll only take about two weeks for that to, for them to get to about six to eight inches high and then they're going outside um, however the the bunyards exhibition they might take a little bit longer it might be four or five weeks inside the greenhouse before we put them outside they will overwinter outside quite well they'll, they'll go dormant and then they'll kick in again and they'll fly up the canes and we'll have a load of bra beans so that, that's the that's the that's the the idea anyway um we've got lots more to go in we've got um we've got to take the the runner beans down we'll be collecting the seeds from them there is some more pumpkin um plants down there but they've come to nothing so we're going to remove them um and then it's uh the onions the over and winter over wintering onions we need to sort out and there's also a bed there which we've piled in the the floor of the chicken pen we need to sp spread that out turn it all into the ground and um, then that'll be good to go so that's it for this one I hope you enjoyed uh, uh, enjoyed the video let me know your thoughts I'll see you all in the next one guys thanks for watching and subscribing and uh, leaving your comments and um, bye for now